Hi, so Feature Friday, not something I've done in a while. Um, so today, I'm going to talk about ring slings, just because I've seen them popping up a lot and had people get in contact about ring slings, and I don't have one for ring slings. So a ring sling is something that has rings and is a long piece of fabric. So I like to wear mine on this shoulder, and so what I'm going to do is just thread it so it just goes across my back and it just comes through the rings and then you just pull it through. Now you don't have to do this every time, you generally do this when you need to set it up, so not every time. And then you just open the rings and push it back through and then you just pull the rest through. You get lots of different fabrics, you get lots of different makes, um, it can impact on your um, on how it feels on your body. So what we're just going to do is check that it fit in here. So what I'm going to do is, you see it's nice and smooth across my back, I'm going to pull this fabric round and the bottom is quite loose. And I know that the bottom is the outer piece, okay? So this acts like this is your tightening. So what we need to do is pull this, and I'm going to go to my outer one and just pull that down. And so now this bottom bit is nice and snug. What I'm going to do is loosen my top piece. So I'm just going to use my rings and open. So now I have my pouch for my baby. What I'm going to do is check that my rings are up nice and high on my shoulder and I'm just going to pull that to my to my hip and then roughly know that that's roughly how much I need for my baby. Obviously everybody is different so you're going to need to play with that to see what is kind of the right position on your body. And we have like a V away from our body so the bottom is nice and snug and the top is slightly loose to get the baby in and then all that I'm going to do is get my baby and I'm going to check that that's nice and secure across my back. Often if we don't do this step there's lots of slack on our back when we put our baby in and the rings drop. So the rings dropping is really, really common. And that generally means it's not set up kind of really well for our baby. So then we're just gonna guide them in, support them down. And at this point, go to the edge and just pull any slack so it's nice and tight across your back. Guide your baby into that pelvic tilt position. So legs nice and wide, sling supporting that knee to knee. And then let that bottom drop. So what you can see here, is that we've got the knees up high and the bottom low. We've got our M shape. Support baby's hands up nice and high. Settle your baby at this point. Again, if you're not sure if this piece across your back is nice and snug, just grab it like a bit of a rope and just sort of wriggle it round. Bring it round, because what happens once our baby's weight is on it, it kind of traps it. <laughs> so the slack can't come to here, which is where I want to tighten. The slack will go round my back and as soon as I try and tighten my rings, my rings are going to drop. <laughs> so now that my baby's sitting in that lovely position, I've got them in a centred position. You can wear them more on your hip or more off centred. I'm just going to pop my finger in. I'm just going to pop that up, support the bottom so it doesn't pop up and just bring up as much as I need. So the rest is going to stay down here, supporting in what I call the hammock position. Now I'm going to take this fabric round because this is where it needs to go. And then I'm just going to gently lift the pressure off the rings and you can see it's pulling through. Then I'm going to bring it across, up and across. So you really need to take the pressure off the rings. If you're just trying to pull this without taking the pressure off your rings, they're not going to tighten. So that's how it works, okay? You need to lift, maybe lift the weight and then tighten in the direction it's going into your ring sling at. So directional and also here. So if you're feeling that there's a little bit too much slack here, you can just bring it up, tuck it into that knee pit, and then I've got a bit more slack here. And I'm just going to pull that down like that. So what you can see is my rings are in a really lovely high position. They haven't dropped down. Baby is in what we call that tilted pelvis position. If your baby's finding this legs are going quite straight, just go in and just tuck and bring a little bit of fabric kind of under their bottom. And so they're sitting in what I call a hammock position. If you imagine they're in a hammock, if you were to pull a hammock really tight, there's nothing for the baby to sit in. You'd fly off a hammock, right? So what you need to do is create this hammock for them to sit in, which is called the seat. Okay, the hands are generally gonna be up. You can have baby's arms out if they're a bit older, depends on your child, whether it's nap time. They can see plenty. And the rings are lovely and secure on my shoulder. That is how you stop a fabric from pulling the sack round and the rings dropping. So biggest mistakes are not setting it up uh, initially, so that then what happens is 
you're pulling and the rings are coming down because the slack cannot go to where you're tightening. The other thing is that you over tighten it because you're worried your baby's gonna come out. So what happens if you over tighten this bottom, you can see if I pull this so tight, there's nothing for my baby to sit in, their legs go down and they can what they call pop the seat. Okay, that's because it's over tightened. So what we need to do is create a bit of slack there to put that hammock back in place, supporting baby knee to knee. So the other thing that happens is that um, maybe baby goes a bit wonky and that normally means that maybe you've got too much slack on one side or the other. So you very much want it lovely, even, nicely spread. The other thing is struggling to tighten through your rings. And again, the main thing for that is lift baby's weight with your hand, pull the rings up and then directionally. So I want to do the middle, now the outer edge. Okay, so that's lovely all across my body, lovely spread. You can always get your thumb and finger in there and just spread that out a bit more. If you're finding it's flopping over your shoulder, you can just fold that up and over. You can also flip your ring sling so that you're, you, you're changing that dimension a little bit as well. Uh, but ring slings are really lovely. They can be really, really quick. You just have to understand how to tighten effectively before you're putting your baby in. So if you have it really well set up, sized your pouch really well, then you can just get baby in and tighten. You don't then have to do too much tightening because we want to make our lives as easy as possible. You want as least work as possible once our baby has gone in. So how do we get them out? Lift the weight, that helps the pressure. And then you can just lift on those rings and you can see it becomes nice and loose. And then I can just take my baby back the way they came. So obviously what's now gonna happen is I've now loosened my ring sling, so it's not gonna fit properly next time I go to put baby in. So what I would need to do, this bottom part needs to be tighter, so I'm gonna go to the outer edge and just pull and make that a little bit snug and the outer top edge. So I've got what we call that sort of V shape. And even then, I just want enough space to get my baby's legs through so that they can then sit on the rest of the middle of this, because you can see they're quite wide. You can obviously wear them in different positions. You can wear them right on your hip. You can wear them in a seated sideways position, centered, off-centered. So ring slings have a lot of great options. It's just about knowing how to use and adjust effectively, which is essentially the same as any sling or carrier. You know, if a sling or carrier is marketed as easy and the best or the quickest, um, quite frankly, they're lying. Um, it's all in the adjustment. It's all in the how you use it and how you're adjusting it. And it's understanding that with a ring sling, you have to bring any slack from around your back around the front to here. Whereas with a buckle carrier, it might go in a slightly different direction to the buckle. So I hope that has helped you with your ring slings. I'm gonna do a quick reel for this as well. If you need any more support, obviously find your local baby run consultant um, or get in touch with me, do it over Zoom, etc., or in person if you're local in Surrey. Um, so yes, thank you and um, have a great weekend and I will speak to you soon.